today I'm going to be sharing with you the first four things that you should be teaching any dog. So subscribe now so that you can receive weekly dog training tips. For those of you who have been watching this series from the beginning, I would like you to really work on the first four games that I've given you so that your dog really understands them. Do some easy tricks for your dog so that they can learn something really fun and easy for both of you before we move on next week to the next game I want you to learn. Okay, with all that said, it's time to get into this video. The first game that you should be teaching any dog is the collar grab game. You may be a little confused right now, but trust me, once you watch the video, you will understand. So, if you haven't already watched this video, then the link will either be in the description or right up here. Choose whichever one works for you. The second game you should be teaching your dog is the search game. I know, a lot of these have some interesting names, but they all make sense if you really watch the whole video all the way through. And again, it will either be in the description or right up here. You know what? That's just the case for all of them. So there you go. You can find any of these games in the description or I will put a link up here. So you'll find the next two in those places as well. Now I won't have to say it. Number three is treat diving. Now this one sounds really weird because you don't want your dog diving after treats. But I promise you it's a lot better than it sounds and game number four is it's your choice which a lot of you know as leave it but if you haven't watched that video then i'm going to tell you right now i teach it to my dogs in a different way so even if your dog already knows leave it i would still suggest you watch it and teach it to your dog this way. I know that some of these sound like they have zero correlation to training your dog, but really they have a huge impact in your dog training. Why, you may ask, and the answer is that it builds value for yourself. After these four games, your dog will start to realize that good things come from you, and that is the foundation to positive reinforcement dog training, that all good things come from you. All of these games are super, super, super easy to train, but your dog should really know them, because like I said, they're the foundations, and you need a strong foundation in your dog training, so that everything will be easier from here. So that eventually, you can have the best behaved dog that you have ever seen as long as you put some good work into it. I highly suggest you watch all these videos all the way through because every single bit of it is very important information if you're going to properly train your dog. And also, if you're not following this uh, series yet, I highly suggest you do because it is 100% free. I don't think I've ever seen a dog training course this good that is 100% free. So I am doing you guys a favor and setting you up for success by giving you all of this information for free. I really want all the dogs in this world to be trained. And if I can teach you how to train yours, then I have been successful. Anyways, have a wonderful day, you guys. And hopefully I will be seeing you in the next video. It's a tricky trainer, you like that?